today I'm uh, building a no water change slash filter aquarium fishbowl. <laughs> I built one last week and I'll show you that in a second or later, but right now I want to show you all the stuff I got to do this. The light in here is crappy, sorry. Um, but this is a fishbowl. Well, I don't even know if it's a fishbowl. I don't think it's a fishbowl, but I thought it would work really good for a fishbowl. It's six gallons. And I got it for $15 from Facebook Marketplace. So I'm gonna wash it out. I've got some gravel, where did that go? This that I got at the dollar store. I'm gonna put it in these little bags. They're little like sachet bags. Um, I'll show you that in a minute. I went to this guy, Smithy's Fishies, and I got some, I'm not sure what these plants are. I'm gonna have to look and then tell you after I look it up. But I've also got some shrimp some red shrimp in one of the bags, and then an apple snail. Uh, some more plants here that I don't know, but I'll tell you when we put them in. And then some gravel. I've got some more things coming, but I thought we could just put this stuff in for right now. And then when I find, I need a stick still, some kind of a log, some kind of rocks, to put in there and my other fishbowl seems to be doing good without a filter in it but if I do need to I'll get a little sponge filter these are the little sachets I was telling you about and I'm just gonna put well I did this on my other fishbowl too I'm just gonna take and fill them up with these rocks. I rinsed them that I got at the dollar store. They're small rocks. I've been watching that MD fish tanks guy. It's very entertaining. And he's the one who showed how to do this. He used some bags that he bought, but I didn't want to have to buy a whole bunch of stuff. I try to use what I can and or what I already have. And um make or else find it for inexpensive and i already have these i think they should be fine i collect seeds in them in my garden usually okay so i'm just gonna fill up five of these so the md fish tank guy he always says to put it up higher in the back and then have it slope forward and it makes the fish bowls look better. And his fish bowls and fish tanks do look better than everyone's, I think. So that's why I filled up these bags and I'm just gonna stick them in here. The back. And then I'm gonna pour the rest of this that I cleaned off. This is the little gravel dump it in there because I might as well use it for something. I don't want it sitting around in my cupboard. Okay. And then I'm just going to kind of smooth it out on there. Just a very thin layer. I don't even know if you can see. It's kind of hard to get a good shot of a fishbowl. Okay. Then I'm going to take my other gravel. This is really pretty. I like it. And I'm going to put it over top. And I've got some other rocks, like decorative rocks that I've got coming that we'll add later. But, oh yeah, I like that. I'm just filling the tank with a little bit of water. to start out with. Okay, that'll be good enough. And then I'll just show you 
what plants I have so far. <clears throat> We're probably gonna have to get more because there really isn't that many here. Um, this one's called, I have to look at my paper here, uh, Agiria Densa. And it's a middle, the guy that I bought them from, from said that they'll all grow well in gravel. So I'm just gonna stick them right into the gravel. So there's about three plants here. I'll just stick them. I don't know where to stick them because I don't have my, I'm doing this all bass backwards, which I do quite often. Okay, I'm just gonna show you all these plants and then I'll place them in a minute because a little I'm making a freaking mess here this one is called Talanthra okay, I'm just gonna dump these in here these ones are really pretty and red I gotta make sure oh shit they get enough light but um, two of these I'll just show you the one Talanthra oops supposed to be really red in that. Okay, let's try to get this out without getting gravel everywhere. Oh, and that one didn't have it. So there you go. Okay, let's plop those in there. Looks like he just took some cuts off of his plants because these don't have any roots on them. Well, those ones didn't. These ones don't either. Okay, and then, I'm not sure which is which. They're both Salvinia. One of them's Minima. So I'm gonna guess that this is the Minima. Let me put this down so you can see. I'm gonna guess this is the Minima because it's smaller. That's logical, right? Put it right here. And then this one's the, what's it called? Cucolata, Cucolata, and these are floating plants. Okay, I'm going to go put all the plants in and then I'll just keep you posted throughout the week as we get new stuff. I made this fish bowl. So here's, here it is that I made a week or so ago. And the bottom filtration system that I learned on that fish channel just really isn't working. So um, the water's been kind of yellow, um, which I think are tannins probably, possibly, I don't know. I don't know, but it kind of stinks a little. So I'm just gonna be taking all of this out, all the, the uh, soil, the sand, and I'm gonna just use the gravel. I'm gonna clean off all the plants and everything. I feel bad to do this because, uh, I don't know, I think it will be a little hard on the guy, but I think it'll be less hard in the long run. So that's what I'm gonna do. Another thing I thought of doing is maybe moving him to this fish bowl. Um, I haven't even filled it up all the way yet though, but it's really clean. It's been running for about, I don't know, it's been over a, over a week. So, and it's got the filter in there and everything. When this system, I could tell it wasn't working, then I went and got the filter. Well, I actually ordered it and that little pump back there. And so it's actually cleared up a little bit, but it's like still kind of yellow and like the plants and stuff are all blech, yucky. So I'm just gonna redo it and dang it. But let's do that now. Okay, so I'll just start by unplugging the line from the pump here. Then we'll just carry the fish bowl into the kitchen. Taking the filter out. And then, yeah, 
yeah, I'll just start taking out all the plants and stuff. I hate to disrupt them, but I think it's necessary. Okay, so I pulled all the gravel bags out. This is just the water. Look how gross it looks. I was digging down in it and yeah. So then all the sand and the dirt and bleh. So now I'm gonna pour this through a strainer in the sink and hopefully we'll catch all the gravel that way. Okay, here we go. Okay, so that's what I'm left with. Uh, so I think I'm going to have to take my strainer outside and squirt, squirt it out there because I don't want all this going down the sink. So I got the gravel cleaned out. It's beautiful gravel, I love it. Got the bowl cleaned out. Now I've got to clean off all these plants and stuff because they're slimy. I'm just gonna squirt them off. And then I have all these bags of gravel that I had in there. I'm gonna clean those off. All right, so now I'll just put everything back in here. Smart. I'm gonna go in and get my fish. I picked a really bad day because it's like raining. It's been raining so much. I'm afraid we're gonna have to pump up a raft here pretty soon. But yeah, I was hydroplaning on the freeway and it was scary. And I can't see that good, but I especially can't see. Well, I can't see in the dark, and then I can't see when it's raining. Like it makes the lights even ugh, more. Ugh, hard to see so anyway I'm here though so I'm in a hurry and then I'll get home well I made it home barely <laughs> I think I just learned that I shouldn't drive in the dark when it's raining because that was scary and I got um, three different kinds of platies to put in my bigger tank and then I got two different shrimp to put into that other tank so I'll show you once I get them in there I've just got them floating around in there for a little bit so they can get used to the temperature and then I'll put them in. I don't know the names of all these. I'll have to look it up because I can tell you if you care. Just three different kinds of platy though. And then same in here, I've got 
them soaking or acclimating, I guess. I don't know if you can see that little black shrimp right there. He's like black and white. And then there's an orange one. I've had these logs floating in this bucket, or soaking, I mean. They were floating at first, but now they're waterlogged. So that's one sign that they're ready to go in the aquarium. That is a blurry picture there. Um, and the water, it still gets a little bit dirty, but like every morning, I pretty much every morning, I put really, really hot water on top of it. And I haven't done it yet this morning. And so it's hardly, hardly um, discoloring at all. And I do change the water in the aquarium, in the fishbowl like every week. So I think it'll be fine. I'm gonna do it. When I did it on this fishbowl, I didn't even soak the log first. I just put it in here and I changed the water every day. And well, half the water. I even had fish in here and everything. So, and it was fine. I actually have read, I was gonna tell you more about tannins and I will, what I read, cause I don't know nothing, okay? I'm not claiming to know anything. This is all an experiment, just like everything in my life is. And my little fishy's doing great. I've had him for probably about a month now. So that's a good sign. <laughs> Isn't he pretty? I think he's just so beautiful. I had to get him because I've never seen one like him. He's like camo. This is the fishbowl we're mainly going to be working on today, though. You can see it's all dirty on the outside. I've got to clean that off. Um, I think the snail died right there because he doesn't move. And not only does he not move, but he's slipped over on his back. So I might need to get a different one. Um, I've seen the shrimp in there, but they have to hide a lot. What is that? On the bottom of that, I don't know if you can see it, leaf there. Is that a snail? Huh, okay, I'm gonna have to look closely at that, closer. Um, anyway, I got some new plants, and when I pull them out, I'm gonna be rearranging this, putting the wood in it, cleaning it. I got these new lights, which are really nice. They're bright little buggers. They were cheap on Amazon, so that'll be nice. I was using my big plant light here and it looked hideous. <laughs> And I'm also going to be moving this plant so that it's underneath of the thing because my new dog, Poppy, keeps eating the leaves off of it. Um, but maybe it'll be more protected under there and it'll look prettier with um, like covering up the cords and stuff because I hate cords. I'm just going to go ahead and do that and I'm not going to show you. I'm just going to show you right now a before of what it looks like and then I'll show you how it looks when I get it done. Here's the before. All right, so that's what it looks like. Um, I just got done, so it's kind of murky, but I think that looks pretty. And the plant looks good there. That was a feat. <laughs> Hopefully the plant will be okay because I heard some snapping. Uh, yeah, I think it looks pretty good. And I like the light. I actually moved, it's got suction cups on it. So I moved one of the suction cups so it was over the end so I could hook it to the side there. And that kept it in place. So it was able to light how I wanted it to. And I'll show you these at night too. I'm gonna go put the light in my other aquarium or my other fishbowl. And I'll show you when it gets dark. Okay, now about tannins. According to what I've read, um, tannin is actually tannic acid and it comes out of, um, well, a lot of things. Some people add it to their tank on purpose, like they'll add almond leaves or something like that because it has bacteria, I believe bacteria, that's actually beneficial to the tank. Will it hurt your fish? The answer that I understand is no. That big piece that I added out there could potentially be harmful because it's so big, but I did, um, you know, soak it for like a week and a half before I put it in there. So hopefully it'll be okay. Um, 
But like if you're just putting a little piece of driftwood in there, it is gonna cause the water to turn yellow if you don't soak it all out first. Um, and that can be concerning, but it's really nothing to worry about. But it can, so the, the cons, well, I don't know if it's a con, but it does change the um, the chemistry of your bowl. Duh, everything does. So you gotta watch that. I think it said it um, lowers, can lower the pH. So some of the pros, um, the, the tannins have um, antioxidants and antibacterials, um, which helps things to grow faster. It helps the um, immunity of your fish. And so it's gonna help them to live longer and grow faster. As long as you check your levels, I guess. I should throw that in there, but I don't. We'll see how it goes. Everything's an experiment. And I'm not really a person who's gonna, I mean, those kits are expensive and I don't wanna pay the money for, I've already paid way more for these little fish bowls than I had it thought I would, so. Um, yeah, so I'm not going to do that, but I have been careful and I'll just watch and hopefully everyone will be happy. The wood actually gives them an added food source. Um, what else did I read? It also said it helped to prevent algae, which I'm all about that. It helped fish um, metabolize their food better and oh, it also increased their breeding I'm not planning on breeding anything, but um, it made them more fertile and more, they had more babies. So, well, that's what more fertile means. So um, the only really bad thing that I read um, is that it can, and it did for a while, but it doesn't do it as much now. Um, it turns the water yellow, but if you don't want it to do that, I mean, you've got to change your water kind of anyway. And so I think it looks pretty good now. Like I said, this one's been up for about four weeks, but at first it was really um, yellow. So I think it's looking pretty good though. So I guess you just got to be patient. But like I said, if you soak it first, then that'll get most of the, the stuff out and so you'll just get a little bit of yellowing and it won't be so bad. So um, I'll keep you posted on my fish tanks and how they're doing. And I hope you guys like this. I'm sure having fun. I like having little pockets of nature all throughout my house. It's nice. Helps me get through the winter and it's good. So um, let me know about your fish tanks, your fish bowls, anything that you have to share about your fish and um, I'm just going to take you out at night um, just watching the fishies. They're so relaxing. Hope you guys have a great day. Plan on.